I'm here with Mr. Joseph T.M., the culinary guru, popularly known as Dragon among his friends. Is there a very simple base filler for sandwiches that you would recommend? Well, the simplest of uh, base fillers is based on the white sauce, which is also known as the bechamel sauce, which I'm, uh, the modifi- modification of which I'm, I make my sandwiches. And for that, you can use maybe about a tablespoon of flour, refined flour, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon, so maybe one onion chopped fine, and uh, a little bit of capsicum, a little bit of spring onion, a little bit of celery, anything, anything what you want. But even if you do it with just onions, just onions alone, it's good. Or you can add a little bit of green chili, chopped up, very finely chopped up green chili. That's also good. So to start off, what you do is you melt, you and then you should have some crushed garlic. So you melt the butter. While the butter is melting, you add the crushed garlic and stir it. And when the butter is nearly melted, you add the onions and capsicum and celery and spring onions, green chili. Or if you don't have any of that, just the basic onions. Just stir it till it becomes nice and translucent. When you care. And then you add the flour. Add the flour at one shot and stir it in, and then you get it a little bit of crumbly, like a wet biscuit. Be crumbly. And then let it fry for some time. Let it cook for some time in the pan. And then you add the milk. You can add gradually or at one shot you can add the milk. If you're adding it at one shot, remove the pan from the fire, wait for a minute and then add the milk so you don't get lumps. And when you add the milk, keep stirring it in. And then stir it for some time and then you'll get get add enough milk to have it slightly liquidish. And then put it back on the fire. Add some pepper, white pepper if possible. Or black pepper is okay, some salt, some oregano if you have it, or if you got some pepper, uh, pizza seasoning, add that, and keep stirring. And at this point of time, you've got an option is adding some grated cheese to it. If you can buy some mozzarella or parmesan, fine, you can grate that and put it into this. If you don't have it, leave it, don't worry. So you you keep cooking it till it becomes nice and thick, then remove it from the fire. And then how to use it? You take your bread and toast one side on a tawa or on a, on a tawa. That's the best way to do it. So on a tawa, you just toast one side, put the mixture, this uh, what you made filler, onto the one slice. And here you can put a small piece of cheese slice or grate some cheese onto it. And you can use just these alone. Or if you want to go non-veg, you can add some cooked meat. Or even if you have an omelet, cut a few pieces of omelet, put it there. Close it up and then fry both sides of the bread, pressing it lightly with a flat spoon. So as a that. full sandwich. As a full sandwich. Uh, no. Does it go well with uh, iceberg uh, and tomato? Outside. Inside. Ah. If, uh, okay. Inside, if you put it, it becomes soggy. Because this is a cooked sandwich. Ah. More. So you don't want uncooked ah. ingredients. Eh? You want a cooked sandwich. This is, okay. if you want another thing, option is, uh, you have this, this uh, sauce ready, this filler ready. When it's off the fire, you beat up an egg and add it to it and make a mix. And then you put the filler, then you do the same thing of putting the, the filler inside a bread, inside a sandwich. And then when you toast both the sides, the, so the filling gets cooked also and becomes more solid because of the egg. And, uh, it, uh, it's a very good, uh, lunch, packed lunch for anybody who wants to do it. And, and it, this it filler stays for a day. It stays for, you can, if you keep it closed, the airtight, it stays for something like two days, three days. Uh-huh. You can keep it. So if you make it a little a close, pot, at it and refrigerated, oh. at it and refrigerated. So mm-hmm. if you make a little more quantity instead of you can vary the quantity, you can make it more, more quantity. 
then you got something which is a ready made thing you can have it for breakfast or you can have it for lunch so if you got school going kids you can you can give them this so yeah you can you just change the fill the, the added add on add on uh, so you can have a veg sandwich a meat sandwich uh, you can yeah you can add any of these things it's very really nice or if you even even if you don't want to do a sandwich you just if you got some noodles or pasta you can do this as a topping and just heat it up it's very really good as a topping for that also Uh, does it go with a pie or uh, but the pie no but the pie yeah, maybe if you liquefy it uh, with a uh, little more milk it can be used if you are going to bake it you can use it as a topping as a topping Before or a filling as it, a uh, you go, as a filling or whatever else but then you have had some cheese into the mixture it's a very very so versatile multipurpose like, base by mm-hmm. very versatile base for making things you can use your imagination to add something to it and do it in a different way something which is very simple to make and can you uh, add bacon or ham chops yeah, into yeah, yeah. it you, you, you can you can fry you, you can fry bacon uh, bacon and add it with it gives a fantastic flavor i have it like that for breakfast i put uh, some bacon so at the, what point do you add the bacon when you're putting it when you uh, before dishing it out onto the sandwiches you just add the fried bacon into the filler oh. and then you put it onto the bread you never try it as very small chop but dip, uh, how, how you like it how you like it but uh, if you want it in strips you can have it in strips yeah. anyway you can add that so that was a very simple sandwich filler recipe do try it out and if you're interested in other such simple recipes please uh, write down the same in the comments below